Connecticut's number one local news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you for joining us, everyone. I'm Wendell Edwards. It's Thursday, April 28th, and we are on top of several big stories this morning. Next thing you know, I just hear my son screaming, help, they set me on fire. Mommy, help, they set me on fire. Just horrible. A six-year-old boy in Bridgeport is facing a long, painful recovery after his family says he was badly burned in a bullying attack. It happened Sunday behind the child's home, and the community is now rallying around the whole family. Later this morning, police and first responders from around the state are planning a special parade. They'll drive by the hospital where Dominic is staying. Channel 3 Eyewitnesses reporter Audrey Russo has more. It's just been a lot, you know, just watching him in this pain. And it's really been tough. The father of six-year-old Dominic watched his son's emotional pain turn into physical pain. Aaron Crankall says Dominic has been bullied since the family moved to Bridgeport last year. But playing in his backyard Sunday, preliminary reports say a group of kids were playing with gasoline and lighting things on fire. Aaron says one of those flaming objects was thrown at Dominic's face. It's been several days, and Aaron says the boy will likely spend another week in the hospital. All he wants to do is go outside and play, and we, he's saying, when can I go out and play again? <laughs> Can't give an honest answer. We were supposed to go fishing Sunday night. That was our plan. That was Audrey Russo reporting. The parade of first responders gets underway at 10 this morning. We will stream it live for you. The family also started a GoFundMe to help Dominic. The goal was to raise $50,000 at last check. People have donated more than $270,000. We have a link if you'd like to help. It's on the Channel 3 app. All right, good morning, everybody. We are looking at a clear early morning dual pole radar, which is good news, and it bodes well for a pretty good day of weather conditions, but it is going to be chilly out there, and it's going to be windy, and that wind is going to make it feel a little bit cooler, so you're going to have to bundle up. Future cast, tomorrow's weather today keeps us high and dry. You'll notice a little bit of cloud coverage from time to time during the day today. Tonight, we clear it out, and the temperatures drop once again. Tomorrow morning is another chilly start with the potential for some frost in northwest and northeast Connecticut. This is noontime tomorrow. Beautiful day of weather tomorrow, but it will still be cool, and it will still be windy. All right, visibility this morning at a perfect 10. Good morning to you. New Haven, 42, but notice that breeze out of the north-northwest at 14. 42 is pretty close to the typical overnight low of 43, so we're not doing too bad in New Haven, but there are chillier numbers out there. New London, 40, with a northwest wind at 13, making that 40 feel cooler. And our Torrington ICAM is not cooperating this morning. Old Saybrook, good morning to you. Things look good there. 35 in Winstead, Willington at 36, 37. Look at this, 35, 36, 37. We skip 38 and go to 39. But the feels like column, a little bit cooler. 31 in Winstead, 32 in Willington, 30 in West Haven, and 35 in Berlin. So you're going to have to bundle up this morning. There are the temperatures in the mid to upper 30s, low 40s. Everybody's below the average of 43. Groton and New Haven, you're close, but uh, even at Brainerd, we're close, but still below average out there. The temperature differential from yesterday, anywhere from 8 to 9 degrees cooler than 24 hours ago. And there's that breeze. Look at that sustained wind, 18 miles an hour at Bradley, 14 in Waterbury, 13 in Groton, 15 in Chester, with gusts right now to 29 miles an hour at Bradley. This is what it feels like when you're walking out the door. Numbers in the mid to upper 20s, even some low 20s in northwest Connecticut. So this is certainly winter coat weather this morning. Now the wind chill values today, they get a little bit better by 4 p.m., uh, but then tonight they drop back between 20 and 30 degrees. So it's going to be another chilly night. Here's tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. So another chilly night tonight through tomorrow morning. There's the wind symbol right across the board with temperatures topping out in the mid 50s today. More of the same for the immediate shoreline, partly sunny skies. Temperatures topping out in the mid 50s by later on this afternoon. And it's going to be windy. We've got a cutoff low up over the Canadian Maritimes. That's bringing us this wind. Uh, into the state, but that's all we have to contend with. No storms out there on the map. And again, a closer look at our early morning future cast does indicate a little bit of cloud coverage this afternoon, but that'll dissipate by tonight. We're under clear skies, radiational cooling and a chilly night. Daytime highs today climb into the mid 50s, sun and clouds and breezy, windy conditions. More of the same for tomorrow. A little bit better in terms of temperature tomorrow and then moderation over the upcoming weekend. 61 for Saturday, 67 for Sunday. Monday morning, some scattered showers in the forecast, uh, but doesn't look like a washout. Neither does Tuesday. Afternoon showers in the forecast, but not a washout. And you'll notice those numbers do come up into the mid to upper 60s Tuesday and Wednesday. 
705 is now the time. Wendell, we'll send it back to you. Thanks, Scott. New information from Killingly. Parents and students continue to fight to add mental health facilities to the high school there at Lisa Center. The school board already denied this project in March, but that's when the State Department of Education launched an investigation to see if the school district is providing a safe setting. The board briefly discussed the project again last night, but the majority of board didn't want to take another vote. Parents and students voiced their concerns and reasons for why it's needed. In the months that we have been discussing and debating this, I know of one child in my circle that has ended up in the ER for a pre-suicide. Residents filed a petition which will force the board to hold a public hearing tonight on the center. The members are not required to respond, but the center idea still has a pulse. A 50 year old woman was seriously hurt in Derby after she was hit by a car. It happened yesterday afternoon on uh, Pershing Drive near the entrance of ShopRite. Police say she was trying to cross the road when she was struck. The driver stayed at the scene and is cooperating with police. Now the cause of that accident remains under investigation. A horrific story in Waterbury now. A man is accused of killing his wife right in front of their two children. Police say 24 year old Moesha Panton Watson was stabbed inside that house on Willow Street Tuesday. She managed to run out of the house but collapsed and died in the street. Police charged her husband, 28-year-old Ainsley Patton, in her death. The couple's three and five-year-old children were unhurt and are now in the custody of DCF. State lawmakers have a new tentative deal on a new state budget. It includes $500 million in tax cuts and an extension on the gas tax suspension through November and also a reduction in student loans. Lawmakers still, though, have a lot of other issues they need to tackle before the session ends Wednesday, including juvenile crime. New this morning, Avalo Airlines is celebrating its first birthday with a new nonstop route from Tweed Airport in New Haven. Starting June 30th, the airline will fly nonstop to Wilmington, North Carolina, with one-way tickets just for $39. The airline is also expanding service to Orlando with up to three flights there each day this summer. And we're hoping to see you and everyone at a very special event Saturday. The Denise DeCenzo Foundation is hosting a walk to cure rare diseases at 10 a.m. You can join in person on the beautiful campus of Quinn Quinnipiac University or walk virtually. The link to register is on our Channel 3 app or our website. Thank you so much for tuning into Eyewitness News. Remember, you can get news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app. Live look outside. Don't forget our 20 towns and 20 days, 90s edition in Ellington tonight and this afternoon. Have a great day.